What is up guys, Justin Mechanic, and welcome back to the channel. So today, I got another painting project for you guys, and uh, we're just gonna get right into this one. All right, so the little project that we got going on today is a hood off of a uh, Meet Oldsmobile Alero, I believe it's called. And uh, basically, the car, uh, something happened to the original hood, and uh, he got an aftermarket hood and wants me to paint it. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what we got. So the paint, or the paint color is a GM USA light driftwood metallic. It's basically like a, a goldish color. And uh, the paint we're gonna be using is valve spar. And we're gonna go ahead and use the Transstar for reducer. Uh, this is gonna be a medium reducer. Uh, it's good for 65 to 80 degrees. And then our clear coat, we're gonna use the new Evo Premium Clear Coat, low VOC, with a fast hardener, 60 to 75 degrees. And for primer, we're gonna use this uh, Transstar 211 Primer Gray. So uh, yeah, that's the uh, project that we got going on today, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoy. All right, so I'm right now I was in the process of prepping the hood and uh, just wiped it down with some wax and grease remover. Um, I did go over it <clears throat> with uh, 600 grit sandpaper uh, basically because although you're not supposed to sand uh, epoxy primer, uh, this, this hood already did come epoxy primered. Uh, the reason why I did end up sanding it a little bit, even though it gummed up my paper, uh, the reason being was that it was already on the car and it had a lot of uh, tree sap and it had uh, basically like little dimples all over it. And uh, I wanted to try to get rid of those. And uh, well, the only way I know how is to clean it, sand it, and uh, you know, uh, lightly sand it and uh, go ahead and uh, take care of those little dirt nibs and then uh, as you can see it's still kind of wet <clears throat> from the uh, wax and grease remover I did go into the metal in some spots I don't know if you guys could see this edging right here there is uh, there you go there's a better look you can see that it did break into the metal a little bit um, so uh, I'm gonna go over it again um, I do have some epoxy primer I think I might end up using that, or I might just end up using the uh, two to one primer from uh, Transstar, <clears throat> the one I got from the uh, paint store, which is over there on the toolbox. And uh, so yeah, anyway guys, um, just waiting for this to dry. Gonna spray some primer on it, and then uh, go ahead and quickly sand it again, or I might just, I think, the easier way would probably be just spray some sealer, sealer on top of it and uh, and then get ready for uh, get ready for uh, paint all right so which gun should I choose hmm I really like this gun this was usually my go-to gun this is my Devilbus plus but I think for this job hmm it's really sitting between the Black Widow and the Techno Pro Light. You know what? <clears throat> I think I'm going, gonna go ahead and try the. Uh... No, no. Let's give her. Let's give her a rest. Let's go ahead and try out the Black Widow. Uh, many of you guys were asking about base. Uh, if this gun is good for base, so uh, we're gonna try. Go ahead and use this for base. And uh, I think you guys might be impressed by how good this uh, Spectrum Black Widow actually is. I think we're gonna give this one a shot today.
guys. So today is uh, the next morning after painting the hood. <sighs> and I'm just like super pissed. Um, this was one of those jobs where nothing went right. Um, everything went wrong. The gun wasn't clean. Uh, overspray. I got water coming out of the gun. I mean, all sorts of stuff. I'm not trying to make excuses, but everything went wrong on this paint project so let me show you what I'm talking about all right so here is the hood that I painted let me see if you guys can maybe you guys can see it better over here on this side so the hood this is the hood like I said this is off of Oldsmobile Alero and at first glance even in person it doesn't look too bad like, it, it actually looks fairly decent, um, even on camera. And typically camera will make it look better than what it actually is. But when you start getting closer, that's when you start seeing all the defects. So first of all, I don't know if you guys see that. Hopefully you guys can. I got water coming out of my spray gun. And that one's not even the worst one because I try to blow it, use the blower and blow it down. Um, and, uh, but this one was the one that's the worst. It just water all over. So that went wrong. And then I got a bunch of trash. I think this is like a hair or something right here. And then I got a bunch of fish eyes. And, oh my God, I'll just, there's like tons of fish eyes. And uh, I try to use a fast hardener or fast reducer. I'm sorry, a fast hardener. That's the stuff I use. And uh, I think what happened was the pressure, uh, the uh, temperature dropped dramatically between below 60 and uh, it just created a bunch of fish eyes <sighs> right so what else went wrong um, so the last time I used my gun the Black Widow I didn't really clean it that well and I had um, I, I sprayed single stage with this with this gun right uh, for one of my other videos I think I didn't clean it well enough and um, I, it started spraying really really bad and uh, so I ended up getting uh, a lot of uh, dry spray believe it or not and um, I'm not sure if I mean that could have contaminated the paint and that's why uh, a bunch of fish eyes started started uh, landing in it I'm not sure there's a bunch of reasons why I, I could have got fish eyes um, it could have been the contamination between the single stage and the base um, or it could have just been the temperature uh, the temperature change the temperature drop uh, there's there's a whole lot of reasons why you get fish eyes uh, but most of the time it's contamination so um, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I didn't clean it right and uh, I ended up getting uh, some sort of uh, contamination and that's why when I went to go spray the clear um, the freaking um, fish eyes just like crazy so so that was another issue um, so a lot of fish eyes water water was coming out of the gun and um, also here um, the hood was already epoxy primered and in this area right here uh, the epoxy wasn't drying for some reason and it, you could tell because it was like much darker black here in this area than the rest of the hood and because uh, it was all black at one point and uh, so I ended up trying to um, I don't know what I tried to do <laughs> honestly I think I touched it or something and I ended up smearing the epoxy primer and uh, it created like some lines right here. This looks way better right now, 
because I ended up um, sanding it even though it was gumming up my um, my sandpaper because that's how you know when you when you uh, sand epoxy primer that's basically what it does it gums up everything um, then I got some uh, spot putty and kind of just fixed it and it looks way better than what it did but you could still kind of see a little bit of it Let's see if I can uh, it's it's really hard to show you guys um, anyway let me change the battery on my camera because uh, it's about to die right now so um, I'll check back with you guys in a bit all right so I went ahead and pulled out the hood out into the Sun so you guys could take a better look at it and um, so how am I gonna fix this hood um, I'm thinking maybe I can try to uh, sand it out and buff. I think that might be uh, the way I'm gonna go. You could you could see some defects. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, unfortunately. And uh, I mean, even like standing maybe like two feet away from it, you can't tell. <laughs> uh, and I think the color hides a lot of the defects really really well especially in the Sun uh, but once you get some shade on it uh, you could really see the defects I got um, water coming out of my gun in this area right here then there's another spot right here where uh, water was coming out and you can kind of see it right there so yeah, I know this guy's not going to be happy if I uh, if I gave him the hood just like the way it is. So I got to fix this to uh, to make it look better. So anyways, um, I'm going to start to try to cut and buff and uh, we'll get back to you. All right. So here's a take. A, uh, uh, here's a look at the uh, hood after I cut and buffed. Like I said, it's not perfect. The only way to really get um, a perfect finish with this would be to repaint it. Not sure if you guys could catch it on camera, but right here you got uh, dry spray right here. And you can see a difference in the metallics. Hopefully you guys catch that. Probably you guys can't. Um, the camera kind of struggles to pick it up, but I could see it just the way that the uh, metallics are laid out right here in this section You could see that it's uh, it's not it's not perfect, right? And uh, also I Tried to fix the water spots. You still got a little bit of the residual right here of the uh, water spot Let's See if uh, Kind of see it right there a um, lot better than what it was um, here is the other water spot right here somewhere you can see it right there um, I'm not I'm not sure if I'm just being hard on myself but uh, I wanted this thing to come out uh, perfect unfortunately I don't think it'll it would ever uh, come out perfect especially spraying in a garage um, but for the most part I think he would be pretty happy um, with this paint job on the hood like I said I did cut and buff um, I didn't go too much you can still see a couple of the uh, couple of the fish eyes um, but I think this color it's it hides it very well it's really hard to uh, to tell the uh, fish eyes so um, yeah it's like I said it's I think he'll be happy to be honest with you guys um, better than having a black hood like he had before and uh, you know if he wanted perfection I guess he could have taken it to a shop and they would have charged him a lot of money um, I'm not even really charging them that much and uh, I think for the for the price and for the type of job that it was and and all that um, I think he would be pretty happy with this anyway guys let me know in the comments down below what you guys think and uh, stay spraying guys see ya